U.S. Steel has been an iconic American company for more than a century, and it should remain a totally American company. Yeah. American-owned, American-operated by American Union Steelworkers, the best in the world. And it's, that's going to happen, I promise you. American Steelworkers can outwork, outcompete as long as they have fair competition. But for too long, the Chinese government has poured state money into Chinese steel companies, pushing them to make so much steel as much as possible, subsidized by the Chinese government. Between those years, 2000 and 2010, more than 14,000 steelworkers in Pennsylvania and Ohio lost their jobs. 14,000. Let me ask you, are we going to let that happen again? No! I promise you, and I'm not going to let that happen again. Look, right now, my U.S. Trade Representative is investigating trade practices by the Chinese government regarding steel and aluminum. If that investment confirms these anti-competitive trade practices, then I'm calling on her to consider tripling the tariff rates for both steel imports and aluminum imports from China. Meanwhile, my predecessor and the MAGA Republicans want across-the-board tariffs on all imports from all countries that could badly hurt American consumers. It's estimated it would cost the average American family an average of $1,500 a year if they succeeded in doing that. Trump simply doesn't get it. Under my predecessor, who's busy right now, <laughs> Pennsylvania lost 275,000 jobs. I mean, let's, let's look at the facts. On my watch, unemployment hasn't been this low for this long in 50 years. That's it. 50 years. 